For the first time in Iran, a flight prototype of the Simurgh light military transport aircraft was demonstrated. This was reported by the Iranian media. The military transport aircraft is based on Iran 140. Work on the conversion of passenger An-140 into transport aircraft for the Army is carried out by the Iranian company Iran Aircraft Manufacturing Industries, IAMI, abbreviation for Farsi Hisa. The transport version was equipped with a rear ramp to be able to load large loads. Half of the fuselage, wings and a number of other components, and parts were made in Kharkov, and only its assembly and conversion from a passenger plane to a light transport aircraft was carried out by HESA engineers. Work on the creation of a tactical transport aircraft with a ramp, and a payload of 6 tons is being carried out at the IAMI Aeronautical Design Center, to replace the Fokker 27. The Iranian Air Force hopes that, by converting the An-140 into a light transport aircraft, the Iranian Army will get an alternative to the Fokker 27. Speaking at the unveiling ceremony, Brigadier General Ashtiani said the aircraft will be of great assistance in serving the country and its executive agencies, both in the civil and military spheres. The top defense official stressed that Simurg is a redesigned and advanced version of the same generation aircraft, which perfectly fits the growing needs of the country's armed forces. He said it has been equipped with high-tech, indigenous technology and designed in accordance with the country's climatic conditions as well as international safety standards and regulations. Brigadier General Ashtiani stated that the homegrown aircraft's propulsion system, new components as well as controllability and maneuverability gear have been designed and manufactured by Iranian specialists and are distinctly superior to other similar models. He also noted that all ground and aerial tests of Simurgh have been carried out inside the country. The unveiling of Simurgh has prepared the ground for the design and manufacture of more advanced aircraft in Iran, the Iranian defense minister said. He referred to lightweight, good payload capacity and radius of action, compatibility with Iran's weather conditions, ability to take off and land on short and dirt runways, and agility in providing air medical services as distinguishing features of the homegrown Iranian aircraft. Simurgh light transport aircraft would develop Iran's national interests in all spheres, can be absorbed by other markets, lower production and maintenance costs, create direct and indirect jobs, and allow the Iranian aviation industry to join the world club of manufacturers of heavy and high-tech aircraft, Brigadier General Ashtiani noted. Given regional developments and threats against the Islamic Republic, aerial transportation plays a significant role as the armed forces need to enhance capabilities in logistical operations and transportation of cargoes, vehicles, and manpower on battlefields," he hastened to add. Back in 2000, Iran is cooperating with Ukraine and Russia in the production and operation of the Antonov An-140 airliner, which can carry 52 passengers. After purchasing the production license for the An-140 from Ukraine, Iran built its first Iran-140 passenger plane in 2003. Iran Air, the national airline of Iran had underway a massive fleet renewal and expansion plan and had been expected to expend an estimated $7 billion on aircraft purchases. In light of such demand, local manufacturers, by capitalizing upon technological incentives offered by international manufacturers to win sales, had been able to formulate production outsourcing and joint partnering ventures. The outcome of these steps led to the launch of a joint venture for the manufacture of the Antonov 140, a 60 to 70 seat passenger aircraft. HESA, the center of excellence in aeronautics in Iran, is responsible for manufacture, co production, export, and managing the marketing, sales, and support of Iran 140 aircraft, a license produced version of the Antonov An 140.
According to the manufacturer, advanced technology, superior design features, excellent reliability and performance combined to make Iran 141 of the most successful regional prop jet in the world at the time. The Iran 140 is a pressurized, twin-turboprop, high-wing aircraft, which combines a rapid transit speed, 310 kts, 575 km per hour, with outstanding performance in hot and high climates. Its added ability to operate from unprepared airfields makes it an ideal aircraft for any regional network. The Iran 140 fuselage provides for an excellent passenger cargo loading capability, which along with high-wing, permits ample clearance for ground servicing vehicles. Other features, exceptional pilot visibility from the cockpit, very good low-speed handling, a regged fuselage structure with an economic life of 20,000 landings, carefully placed passenger and service doors, plus a range of gross weights to meet operator requirements. A six-bladed swept-back advanced technology propellers is composed of a metallic spar embedded in a composite sheath. Iran 140 power plant, with millions of flying hours it is a reliable engines that integrates propeller and engine controls into a propulsion system that is ideally suited to the Iran 140 aircraft. Iranian sources have indicated that Maritime Reconnaissance Anti-Submarine Warfare ASW, versions of the Yami Iran 140 transporter, a license-built version of Ukraine's An-140 design, will eventually replace the aging P-3F Orion procured from the United States prior to 1979. An airborne early warning EW, version of the Iran 140 is also supposed to be developed, but Tehran will need to find a partner to develop the airborne radar platform's complex avionics. Maritime patrol, including roles such as electronic warfare, anti-ship missile firing and long-range missile guidance relay, emphasizes a need for at least seven hours endurance. The An-140 does not have such a capability yet, but some modifications were being planned to enlarge aircraft's fuel tanks and by adding additional tanks to the outboard wing section. The Iranian Navy had expressed its willingness to operate the An-140 in offensive and patrol roles, equipping it with a 360-degree surface search radar. Other equipment options would include an infrared ultraviolet line scanner, IRUVLS, forward-looking airborne radar, FLAR, side-looking airborne radar, SLAR, laser fluorescence sensor, LFS, microwave radiometer, MWR, forward-looking infrared, FLIR, magnetic anomaly detector, MAD, electronic support measures radar warning receiver, ESMRWR, anti-surface weapons and a video camera with data annotation. The Antonov An-140 military EWA version would be equipped with a rotodome and a, yet-to-be-determined surveillance radar. Iran had an urgent requirement for at least a dozen of such aircraft due to its diverse topography. Iran and Ukraine signed a treaty for the production of Iran-140 planes in Isfahan in 1995. The first HESA produced Iran-140 was completed in 2001. But the company had yet to find a domestic customer for the aircraft, which was being seen with skepticism by Iranian civilian operators.